So, hello everyone. My name is Michaela Guglielmi. I just graduated from UNH with an environmental engineering degree, and I'm going to be talking about my summer sustainability internship with Coca-Cola of Northern New England. So CCNNE is a separate franchise from the big Coca-Cola company, um, and their vision is to achieve sustainable long-term growth through people, planet, portfolio, partners, and profit. So one of the ways they achieve that sustainable growth is through their Londonderry Production Center. So they ship six million plastic bottles and four million aluminum cans all over New England. And despite all the material that's coming into the center, 95% of it is actually able to be recycled. Um, and anything that can't be recycled goes to a waste dumpster, but they're actually in the process of sending that to a trash to energy plant. So by the end of the year, the whole center is gonna be landfill free, which is pretty impressive considering how big of a center it is. Um, so even though they're a very environmentally conscious company, unfortunately, the country itself hasn't really been keeping up, and it's estimated that only about 25% of recyclable items actually get recycled in America. So CCNNE realized that this is a huge problem, and they developed a recycling education program to tackle that issue. Um, so they teach recycling backwards, and the main message is showing how companies like Patagonia, Vermont Teddy Bear, New Balance, and North Face, they actually all make their um, products from recycled plastic. And that's kind of shocking to some people and really interests people. And they don't need to mention the environment at all without really effectively teaching recycling. So, um, so my project for the summer was to take that message and make it into an online form. Right now, the sustainability manager, Ray Duby, he travels all over New England teaching this. He teaches um, 100 plus days a year, and he just doesn't always have the time to go to all these places, so hopefully my, um, my online videos will help him to just send the videos to people instead of um, him having to go and teach in person. So I ended up making eight videos. The, the first three were kind of true to his original message. The first one is a little more technical for adults, and the second one is for middle schoolers and high schoolers. And then the third version is for younger kids that might need to be explained what you can and can't recycle. And then I expanded a little bit and I made some videos about plastic bags. There's a lot of controversy about banning those. Um, some of the issues with recycling glass and just other facts and information about recycling. So they're all on YouTube if anyone's interested in watching them. And they're hopefully going to be on the Facebook page and the company's um, website soon. So it'll just be an easy way for everyone to get that message um, and just, yeah, spread the word to everybody who's interested in recycling. So besides uh, making my videos, I was able to volunteer at the Special Olympics. Me and Ray, we brought water to all the athletes. So it was really fun and a cool event to be a part of. And I also got to travel with Ray to all the different um, events where he teaches. And one of the cool events this summer was a younger girl. She came up to us and we told her, yeah, your North Face jacket is um, actually made from recycled plastic. And her jaw just dropped. And she just had this big smile. And me and Ray were just laughing because it was so cool to see someone so interested. And um, it was cool to know that we we're actually making a difference and people are understanding more about recycling in a new way. So thank you guys for listening, and I want to thank Ray as well as Mike and Lucy for helping me this summer, and Fane and Fiona for making this um, a great experience. Thank you.